This is Dr. Phil Chavez. Again, I'm at the Medal of Honor Memorial here at Riverside National Cemetery. And right now I'd like to give special tribute to Joseph Timothy O'Callaghan. Lieutenant Commander Father Joseph Timothy O'Callaghan, a Jesuit, served as a U.S. Navy chaplain during World War II and is both the first Catholic priest and the first Naval chaplain to earn the Medal of Honor. Born May 14, 1905 in Boston's Roxbury neighborhood, Joseph joined the Jesuits in 1922 after graduating from Boston Latin High School. He was ordained while teaching mathematics, philosophy, and physics at Boston College. Now in 1938, Father Callahan became head of the mathematics department at Holy Cross College in Boston. But when World War II began, he was 36, nearsighted, with high blood pressure and a bad case of claustrophobia. Yet his faith gave him inspiration to enter the Navy to go above and beyond academic life and his health challenges. By 1945, he was promoted to Lieutenant Commander. On March 2nd, he reported aboard the, or, reported aboard the aircraft carrier USS Franklin to serve as chaplain to its 3,200 men. Now that ship was part of a task force whose mission was to track down the Japanese fleet and destroy it. Early morning, March 19th, 1945, the feast of St. Joseph, his patron saint, only 17 days after beginning this assignment, an enemy aircraft dropped two bombs upon the carrier off the coast of Kobe, Japan. One bomb penetrated the flight and gallery decks and exploded in the hangar. Over 90% of the flight deck was in flames. Burned, mangled, and bleeding bodies were everywhere. At least 800 men would die within the next two days. The Padre attended each one he could, praying, absolving, anointing them. Now explosions tore apart the steam lines and the boilers shut down. By 9.30 a.m. the ship was powerless. The ferocity of the ongoing exploding shells stored on board brought chaos and disorder everywhere. Several officers were killed and many chiefs were trapped, if not dead. Now taking initiative, O'Callaghan directed the sailors to join him on the water hoses and to form a chain which he organized to pass hot shells from the magazines to dump off the edge of the ship. He then joined a crew to flood the lower deck magazine whose ammunition could not be easily unloaded. Then later, Father led a hose crew through the smoke-filled hangar to cool the bombs there so others could defuse them. With engineers able to return to their stations by 9 a.m. March 20th, the Franklin was moving again. On April 3rd, the ship re-entered Pearl Harbor. For his courageous acts, which helped save the carrier, Father Joseph O'Callaghan was awarded the Medal of Honor. At an award ceremony a few months later on the USS Franklin flight deck, O'Callaghan's mother was present. The ship's captain, Les Garris, told her, I'm not a religious man, but I watched your son that day, and I thought if faith can do this for a man, there must be something to it. Your son is the bravest man I've ever seen. The USS O'Callaghan and Escort Destroyer was named in his honor. God bless all these heroes. And brothers, God be with you.